This year, South Korea is set to commence large-scale production of innovative 155mm ammunition for its self-propelled artillery units, notably the K-9 Thunder, as reported by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA. This announcement follows the successful culmination of a multi-year project dedicated to developing the ammunition. Initiated in 2014 with research and development efforts starting in 2017, the development of the projectile has now been officially concluded, as affirmed during a meeting between representatives of DAPA and the Pungsan Defense Company, responsible for its manufacturing. In August 2023, experts confirmed the suitability of the projectile for combat deployment, leading to DAPA issuing a certificate of conformity to Pungsan in July 2023, marking a significant milestone in the project. This certification signifies clearance for the commencement of mass production of the military asset. The new projectile, engineered to achieve an extended flight range, is anticipated to significantly augment the capabilities of the K-9 self-propelled artillery units. DAPA placed an initial order of 2,000 units of the 155mm projectiles with extended flight range in 2023, slated for delivery by the conclusion of 2024. A noteworthy aspect of the new projectile is its approximately 30% increased flight range compared to existing ammunition. This enhanced range is achieved through the integration of an additional solid fuel charge, distinguishing it from the high explosive munition with a rocket accelerator utilized in the bottom of the K-307. The standard ammunition for the K-9 Thunder, the M107 self-propelled guns produced by Hanwha under license from American General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, boasts a target range of up to 18.8 kilometers. South Korean authorities anticipate that this new development will not only satisfy domestic requirements but also attract international interest, potentially bolstering the export prospects of the 155mm K9 self-propelled howitzer of indigenous design. The decision to embark on mass production of the new ammunition underscores South Korea's dedication to enhancing its military prowess and highlights its aspirations to emerge as a significant contender in the global defense marketplace.